Farming has long been an important part in the survival of the human race. To grow your own food was an important part of taking care of your family. There are farmers today that still live and work on the same land that their family has been on for a hundred years or more. So are they still doing the same things that their forefathers did? Are they farming the same way? Well, we all know that one thing that never changes is that things do change. Agriculture is one of the industries that have seen some of the biggest changes. So let's look at old farming and new farming and see how farming has changed. Before we get started, if you enjoy the video, please hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications so that you miss nothing. The first change that has happened is the sizes of farms. Years ago, there were a lot of farms, and they were normally much smaller than the farms that we see today. Most people grew enough food for their own families and maybe a few other people. Farming is very hard work even today, but back then it was so much worse, with most of the work having to be done manually or with the help of animals. Big farming machines did not exist. Tractors, combines, and even grain trucks were not invented yet. So farmers had to do all the work by hand. Farming and getting the fields ready and eventually harvesting the fields took much longer than it does today. That is why it was impractical for farmers to have too much land. They would never be able to work at all and use all the land. So farms stayed much smaller than today and farming was more a way to provide for your family than it was a business. That leads to another change, the amount of people each farm would feed. Like I said, farmers couldn't farm as quickly so most of what they did farm went into feeding their families and sometimes some of their laborers. In the early days, each farm would feed around 15 people. With the changes that came with farming, farmers today can work much more quicker and much larger pieces of land. Today, each farmer can feed more than 140 people. Farming has become more of a business and farmers now work more to sell their produce than to just feed their own families. And this created the opening for another change. How many people used to farm in the past and how many people farm now? In the past, you couldn't just go to the shops to buy food to feed your family for the week. Most people had to produce their own. Farmers didn't have enough to sell for everyone, so most people had to have some land to farm their own needs. A little over 200 years ago, most people in the U.S. were farmers. Around 90% of people lived on farms and produced food for their families. Today, that number has gone way down. Only around 2% of people in the U.S. produce food now. The agricultural industry had a lot to do with growth in other areas. Because farming became a business and a small number of people could produce enough food for others, it opened the door for people to go out and explore other avenues and industries. People weren't tied down by having to produce food to eat so they could work in other areas and create enough income to go and buy the food from the farmers. It really opened up the world. But on the other side, it is a shame that younger generations don't know how to farm their own food if they need to. It is a craft that has been lost to most people. Lucky for us, there are still men and women out there that are just as passionate about farming as their grandparents were. That is one thing that hasn't changed. A lot of the changes in agriculture have come because of technological advances. Almost all of the changes that farming has made would have been impossible if it wasn't for the advancement that was made in farming technology. When farmers used animals to work their fields, they worked slowly. Then things like tractors and combines were invented and the work could be done in a fraction of the time. Farmers had more time to do more fields and could buy more land. Then they had more land and could feed more people. They didn't need the animals to work the fields anymore, so they didn't have to use a big part of their fields to plant animal feed. They could use all the land to produce quality food to sell, and this created the start of the agricultural business as we know it today. The way that technology has advanced influences almost every other way that farming has changed that we are going to look at. They are all interlocked, and one wouldn't have without the other. Let's see how global changes affect changes in farming. For one thing, there are way more people on Earth that depend on farmers for their food. So, farmers are under more pressure to keep producing more meat, crops, and other food than ever before. Most people don't grow their own fresh produce anymore and look to farmers to produce enough so that we can go to the grocery store and that the food we need is available to buy. But while farmers need to produce more food than ever before, climate change has made it harder than ever. In a lot of ways, farmers are still at the mercy of of nature. So things like drought, floods, and extreme weather conditions create big problems 
problems for farmers and damaged their crops. This has meant that farmers have had to find ways to adapt to these difficult conditions and find ways to keep their products safe against the elements. Some of these ways have been very successful and others not so much. So farmers are always working towards better ways to do this. At the same time, farmers in the past have been large contributors to greenhouse gas and then contributing to the problem of climate change. More and more farmers have been working hard to make sure that their carbon footprints are smaller and that they use techniques and products that don't have such a big impact on the environment. This has created big changes in the way farmers farm. Another big change in farming is how farmers care for their animals. Scientists have made amazing breakthroughs in ways to care for animals. Today, we know way more than we ever did about how to create environments where farm animals can be the most comfortable. It is important for farmers because this leads to animals being healthier and for animals like milk cows to give a greater yield. Dairy cows, for example, are more routinely kept in barns with special bedding and soft mattresses. They also get special food to keep them healthy and happy. Farmers know more about what their animals' needs are, and they have changed the ways that they farm to keep these needs in mind. So, the way that animals are raised has changed drastically from traditional farming to the modern farming methods that are used today. There have been just as many changes in the ways that crops are cared for. Farmers have better ways of looking after their soil and caring for it. They can use seeds that give much greater yields and care for their produce in ways that, at the end of the harvest, there is a much greater yield per field than they would have been able to get in the past. Precision farming technology helps farmers to get the information they need to take better care of their fields and plants. Farmers can produce much more food in a smaller area than ever before in the history of farming. Since we already know that there are more people than ever that rely on farmers to produce food, this is great news for all of us. Another change is that there is much less diversity in what is farmed on each farm today. In the past, when people had to take care of their own needs, they needed to farm with a lot of different produce and animals. They had to have a cow for milk, they needed chicken for eggs, they needed crops for food, and so on. So, on each farm, a farmer would farm with many different things. Today, farmers specialize in a certain area of produce. If they have crops, they have a few types at most that work in their climate. If they have animals, they focus on a certain kind. For example, dairy farmers. This has allowed farmers to have a much greater knowledge in their area of farming, and it allows them to produce much more of their product than they would be able to if they were focused on a lot more things. It is way more practical for today's farmers and a much better business plan. So, what has really changed in agriculture? Agriculture is a much different business than it was a few hundred years ago. From who farms to the purpose of farming, it has all changed. How animals are kept and how crops are grown are completely different than in the past. Technology has changed the farming landscape and has helped farmers do a lot more work in a much smaller time and with less need for labor since less people are needed to get the job done. Farmers are feeding more people than ever before and farmers need to have more knowledge than ever before. They need to know their products and how to get the best yield. They need to know how to best care for the environment. They have to be business people and know the markets in which to sell their products products. Agriculture is a much bigger business than it ever has been before. In some ways, farming has been made easier than it was in the past, and in others, it is much harder. One thing that has never changed is the passion that farmers have to have to keep doing their jobs. Their passion for the land and the love they have for it will always be the same, no matter what changes might still happen in the future. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Until next time.